Hey y'all, I'm here. So, so I'm going to talk about how to get your Linux system set up to actually display Japanese text properly. And there are going to be two parts to this. The first part, which you'll definitely need to do, is installing fonts that support Japanese. And the second part is adding Japanese locales, which you pretty much only need to do if you want, like, UI elements and help text and such to be in Japanese. And as far as the fonts portion, the exact font names, like the exact package names, will vary from distro to distro. I'll be giving Gen 2 package names, but you should be able to just search part of the name that I give and find it in your particular distro's repos. And the locale stuff should work for any glibc-based distro. If you're using Muscle, I actually don't know if that has proper localization support, so good luck, I guess. So. Before I just start shilling fonts, I'm gonna just show the difference between having fonts and not. So, if we look at Arabic Wikipedia here, since I don't have any Arabic fonts installed, you can see that within the image there's text because that's just baked into the image, but everywhere else, it's got these little boxes. In this case, there's hexadecimal, probably code pages or whatever, inside of them to indicate what they're supposed to be. In some contexts, you'll see them like this, otherwise they'll just be blank boxes. And this is just what happens if you don't have any font that supports a particular glyph. Meanwhile, on the same page on Japanese Wikipedia, you can see that since I have Japanese fonts installed, everything is displaying just fine. Gentoo Linux no Pakeji Kanri System wa Portage to Yobareru. Gentoo's package management system is called Portage. And it sure is. So yeah. Actually installing the fonts is going to vary a bit from distro to distro just because of different package managers and different package names. But some fonts that I like are IPA Gothic, which on Gen 2 is in the package media fonts slash JA IPA fonts on whatever other distro, just sort of do a search for IPA font using your package manager. I think on Arch it might be like OTF IPA font or something, and I don't remember what it's called on any other distro off the top of my head. And another one that looks nice, which We'll also pull in Chinese and Korean fonts. Is Notosan's CJK JP, which on Gen 2 is in media fonts slash Noto CJK. On whatever other distro, just again search your package manager for. Noto CJK and just see what it's called there. And if for whatever reason neither of those are available, a few others that the Gen 2 wiki suggests are Sazanami, which I remember liking in the past, Kochi Substitute, VL Gothic, M Plus Outline Fonts, Monofont and IPA Monofont, all of which I have no recollection of ever using, so I can't personally vouch for 
any of those. And then once you install one of these, you should pretty much be good to go. Just relaunch your browser if you're trying to see a web page that has Japanese glyphs. Relaunch LibreOffice if you're trying to open a document in Japanese or whatever. And it should just work if for whatever reason your package manager doesn't take care of updating the font cache. You might need to just as root run fc cache dash fv to forcibly and verbosely just recreate the font cache, but try just relaunching whatever first because your package manager really should do that for you. Then for locales, I think I mentioned at the beginning, but for just like seeing Japanese text on a web page or like doing your Japanese homework in LibreOffice or whatever, you shouldn't need to add any locales, but if you want UI elements like menus or help text or whatever, to be in Japanese, whether for immersion learning or because you are Japanese or whatever, that's where these come in. And also mentioned earlier, but these instructions are specific to glibc, so any other libc might work differently, might just not work, might happen to work the same, I really don't know. So start off just as root point a text editor to slash etsy slash locale dot gen and if you're lucky this will be just a list of various commented out locales or on a just works distro this might just have them all uncommented. If you're less lucky, then you might need to type this by hand, but looking at this comment up here, if you have to type by hand, you could try seeing if your distro has a man page for locale.gen, or if any of these files that it mentions exist in slash user slash share slash i18n. It's like locales, char maps, and supported. So yeah, at the minimum, either find an uncomment or just add the line for ja underscore jp dot utf dash eight space utf dash eight. This, as you may guess, adds support for a Japanese locale using the utf eight character set. And depending on what sort of stuff you're expecting to run, you may also end up needing other character sets, but this one might be enough for your needs. See, so yeah, once you've added or uncommented it, just save and exit. Then, again, as root, just run locale gen to regenerate locales. And once that's done, you can run locale-a to make sure it worked. So locales I have enabled, C, C but UTF-8, couple US English ones, and Japanese with UTF-8, also POSIX. So once you have it enabled to test it out, just for a single run of a single program, just put 
lang all caps equals j a j p dot u t f eight formatted just the same way it was in that file. Just put that in front of whatever command. So I'm going to use the help text for ls and in this case not everything is necessarily translated. Some of it is still just showing good old English, but there are some like help Konotsukai kata o I think this was Hyoji Shite Studio to show this usage text and exit. And then, if you want to set it more globally, it's like the way we did it just now. Next round of ls dash dash help just goes back to the default English locale. The exact process can vary a bit, but the general base is that you want to add that lang variable somewhere that'll get sourced. So on a systemd based distro, you can either add lang equals jajp dot utf8 to slash etsy slash locale dot Conf. Preferably not through just shell redirection. You should like actually look at the file and edit it. Yeah, that is one way. Or you can run locale CTL list locales to show what's available and make sure it's on the list. And then just as root locale CTL set locale lang equals jajp dot utf8. If you're on Gen two, then you can start with eselect locale list to show what's available and what's currently selected. Then as root eselect helps if I can type locale set and then whatever number is next to the Japanese one. So in my case, that would be six. And on pretty much any distro, regardless of system D or not, you can just add that lang variable to your bash rc, zshrc, tilde slash dot profile, pretty much anywhere that's going to get sourced at some point. And with whichever method you use, with the exception of the eselect method, there are also other locale variables you can set, like lc monetary for what currency gets shown or LC numeric for stuff like decimal and thousand separators since some countries use dot for decimals and commas for thousands and other countries are wrong. So yeah, by default, Lang will set those to whatever you set it to, but you can use the individual variables to override any of them.
And then after you've set Lang, if you just added it to your bash RC or whatever, really if you added it to any file, be sure to source that file again to make the changes take effect. And even after you do that, it won't affect anything that's already running. So it's good to either restart the X server or just log out and log back in to make sure changes fully take effect. And if you're not entirely sure what or how much you need to source again, just reboot. That's probably the easiest way. And there are some programs like Firefox that might require additional use flags on Gen 2 or additional packages on other distros for additional language packs. So if we look at the use flags for Firefox, and scroll a bit, you can see all these L10N flags, including L10NJA for Japanese. So on Gen 2, just set whichever L10N flag is appropriate. On some other distro, just kind of search the package manager or wherever for additional language packs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helped, and have a nice rest of your day.